Hello there, fellow zombie slayers. My name is Stanley557. Augments are a new ability coming to Black Ops 6 Zombies. And following a blog post made by Treyarch, we know augments are going to be a replacement for the permanent crystal upgrades found in Cold War. With players being able to unlock three major and three minor augments for each perk, field upgrade, and alternate ammo type. These abilities vary between the two types, with major augments being much more game changing than their minor augment equivalent. Before a match, however, players will be able to attach one major and minor augment to each of these options. This gives players many different ways to play and build their loadout without permanently breaking the balance of the game. But because we are still over two months out from the release, I thought I'd make this video and speculate with you today on what the augments could be and actually compare and contrast them once the game comes out and see how close we got. Today we'll be covering the perks, so strap in and let's theorycraft some of these augments. So when designing this video, I didn't really have a script for this, I decided to instead write notes, which is something I don't usually do. Usually I would write out a full script with different flows and narratives, you're not going to see that today, I'm going to be talking a bit more off rip. So I have these written down, I have everything split into two categories. We have of course the major augments and the minor augments. Now to give you a frame of reference for my thought process, I thought it was a very good idea to make minor augments simply one or two very small abilities that can affect the player in very minor ways obviously with major augments having actual gameplay changes in very specific interactions with the environment or the undead or the way that the player actually controls. I thought this was a very important distinction because minor augments aren't the same as major. I think one provides a much more useful benefit than the other, but minor augments shouldn't be counted out either. To give you an example, on the blog post, Treyarch gave one major and minor augment for melee macchiato. For example, on the blog post, major augment one was listed as vampirism, which basically means that successful melee attacks heal for 25 health. This is ripped directly from Cold War. And one minor augment that they talked about was Hidden Impact, with melee kills reloading a portion of your held weapon. This was a good famer reference and it gave me a good idea on how I wanted to theorycraft these. So just sit back and relax as we talk about this. And while you're at it, in the comments below, please add whatever augments you think would be really cool for the game. Hey, we're probably gonna get one of these right. So for Juggernaut, let's start out with the major augments. So for Juggernaug, we heard from Mr. Dalek JD that we know that Dying Wish is coming back as an augment. So I called this one Wishful Thinking. If the player is brought into lethal range, player is prevented from dying for 9 seconds, but is left temporarily at 1 health once the time is up. Each time the ability is used, the cooldown is increased. This is a near 1 to 1 rip of Dying Wish from Black Ops 4, and I think it's a really useful perk and having it as an option for a major augment works really well here, especially if they make sure that the other two augments are just as powerful forcing you to pick which one you think is going to be the most useful. So for major augment number two, I came up with durable plating. Damage player armor takes is reduced by 25%. This is ripped directly from Cold War's crystal system, and actually this was really useful in the game and made your armor super powerful. If you play a game of Vanguard, you'll find that your armor does go down much quicker than us in Cold War, and that's because of this Juggernaug upgrade that was found in Cold War. And finally, for major upgrade number 3, I thought of one that was somewhat similar to Dying Wish, called Peter's Protection. When players reach less than 50 health, a Dark Aether entity is summoned who will instantly defeat any nearby enemy. Each time this ability is used, the cooldown is increased. This is ripped directly from Cold War, where if you complete the Black Chest event, you'll have a ghostly ally that'll save you if you drop below 50 HP. This entity is known as Peter, and he is from the Cold War intel. And finally, for the minor augment, we have Muscle Mass. Increase maximum health by 150 instead of 100. When checking the blog post, I did notice that Treyarch says that Jug will only increase health by 100, meaning that your base health will either have to be 100 or 150. So by proxy, I would assume that a good minor augment would simply just be giving the player another hit. For minor augment number 2, I came up with Heart of Steel, with range attacks dealing 25% less damage. I thought this would be a very useful minor augment, especially coming off of a game like Cold War one with way too many ranged enemies. And finally, for minor augment number three, I came up with Mask of the Ancients. Players take 10% less damage and deal 5% more to all enemies. This is ripped from the God Mask from Revelations, and I think that all of these abilities do kind of stack up against each other in one way or another, making them really interesting to pick from. On the major augment side, you have two upgrades that are supposed to protect you from fatal hits, whereas one of them simply makes you much better at tanking multiple hits throughout the entire game whereas the other two are active all the time, but will only prevent you in lethal range, and when they're on cooldown, they really won't help you. And then for the minor augments, I really felt like having one that helped with range attacks, one that helps you with just overall damage reduction, and one that increased your health, gave you many different options and ideas on how you wanted to take different hits and what enemies you thought you'd be encountering with each map. Alright, let's move on to Quick Arrive now. 
For Major Augment number one, I came up with Smoke Grenade. When you revive a fallen teammate, both you and the teammate are undetectable by the undead and are granted a movement speed increase for 10 seconds. I thought this would be useful because not only is half of it the modifier from Black Ops 4, I thought it would be a really good way to help your teammates, especially if you're in a bind. One of the hardest things about zombies is when you go down, you lose all your perks, you are surrounded by undead, and you might not have the firepower to defend yourself. I feel like giving you and your teammate invisibility for a few seconds is a great way to help your teammate get back on their feet and is super useful for cooperative play. For Major Augment number 2, I came up with Safety First. Start the match with an additional self-revive, and self-revive crafting using salvage is reduced by 25%. I thought this would actually be really useful because not only is it like the talisman from Black Ops 4 which gives you one additional self-revive, but it also makes it easier to craft self-revives of the three that you can make. This augment could pair really well with one of the two major augments I came up with for Juggernaug, being that you get more self-revives and more additional abilities to not go down, helping newer players get into the action. And finally, there's major augment number three, Undead Band Crawling. Upon downing, players have the ability to revive themselves if they defeat an undead. Quick revive is lost in this process. This is a direct rip from self-medication from Black Ops 3, and of course you also have the crystal system from Cold War, which gave this ability to quick revive. I think each of these major augments stack really well against each other and give you different options, with number one being a really good co-op perk, with number two being great for beginners, and number three being great for late game play. Then there's minor augment for quick revive one and two, with mana up, reducing the health regeneration delay time by 75% rather than 50, and persistent team player, reducing the time it takes to revive an ally by 75% rather than 50. Both these abilities essentially take the two core abilities of quick revive in these later games and splits them and gives them increased abilities based on which one that you choose, with one of them reducing the health regeneration, just like the card and mana up from Cold War, and Persistent Team Player taking after the Primer perk from Quick Revive in Transit, Dyer's and Buried. And finally, for Minor Augment number three, you have Mortifying Malfunction. Upon revive, the first two perks players purchase are reduced by 50%. This can only be done if the player loses four or more perks upon downing. This is ripped directly from Zetsubo no Shima, with the electric shield being used to reduce the prices of stuff on the map, and especially perks. Each of these abilities grant players many different options of how they want to set up their player, with mana up and persistent team player having both co-op and solo purposes, with mortifying malfunction just giving players more options to pick themselves back up off their feet in case they go down late into the game with very few points. At the end of the day, Quick Revive is a support perk, and I believe that each of these major and minor augments does just that. With some of the augments being very co-op oriented, some of them just providing small support buffs, and other ones just helping players in case they go down. I think that these are some great options that I would love to see in Black Ops 6. Alright, moving on to Speed Cola. So for Speed Cola, I actually think this is some of the three best major augments I could have come up with, and I think that each one provides a ton of value to players. So for major augment number one, we have Tactical Specialist. Specialist meter refill rate is increased by 20%. This is ripped directly from Time Slips modifier and also the Crystal System in Cold War. This would be a very useful ability, especially going into the high rounds. Then for Major Augment number 2, we have Fast Mags Plus, which grants increased reload speed and armor plating speed bonus by 50% rather than 30. I think this would be super useful, especially because we haven't seen reload bonuses this strong since Black Ops 3. And considering it works on every single weapon, not just weapons with attachment slots like Wonder Weapons, I think that this would be a great spot to put for a Major Augment. And finally, there's Major Augment number 3, the Gift of Temporal Giving. Power-ups not only last longer, but spawn in more frequently too, with the max cap per round being increased from 4 to 6. Note, this does not stack with other players. I think this would be a great Augment, it takes after a ton of different abilities like Raindrops, Power Vacuum, Temporal Gift from Black Ops 3 and 4. Not only does it increase the power-up cap a little bit, but I also think the balanced amount too, doesn't stack with other players, but it does make power-ups last a little bit longer, and I think that these are all great abilities that are extremely valuable. But when you stack it up next to Major Augment number 2, which is Fast Max Plus, and Major Augment number 1, it has some very stiff competition if this is something that we're going to see in the game. Then there are the Minor Augments. For number 1, I have Time Slip Treasury, with the box bin being increased by 50%, and the Mystery Box will also leave and respawn much quicker as well. This is a great minor bonus, and I think it plays right off the game's very quick and fast pace. For minor augment number 2, we have 5 second muscle, with bullet damage being increased by 5% after reloading for the first 5 seconds. If you played IW Zombies, this is ripped directly from that, and was a great ability that helps with a ton of different weapons, and pairs very well with Fast Max Plus. 
Then there's Minor Augment number 3. Toss them like you see them. With Tactical and Lethal Equipment being thrown much quicker, and Monkey Bombs are thrown almost instantaneously. One of the Monkey Bombs' biggest detriments in the modern era is how long it takes to set up, and I think having a Minor Augment that addresses that while also making it much quicker to throw other equipment would be a great sight to see. Speed Cola is all about tactics and speed, and I think that each of these major and minor augments does a great job at addressing many of the issues of the series. Some of them give you faster reload specialist, one of them gives you faster reloading in general, and one of them gives you longer and more power-ups at the same time. And then there's the minor augments, which all help in their own special way. In my opinion, the lineup that I come up with has some very stiff competition for Speed Cola, and I think I would love to see all these in the main game. Then there's Stamina. Up. For Major Augment number 1, I came up with Atomic Buildup. Sprinting periodically increases weapon damage by 10%, and you are also immune to traps after building up your speed as well. I thought this would be very useful, and is not ripped directly from anything in the series. I think that being able to have something that akin to Stone Cold Stronghold gives players bonuses for actually running around and keeping up with the Horde. Then there's Major Augment number 2, Chain Together. This gives you the ability to chain slides together much more easily, almost akin to Black Ops 3 with a temporary speed boost being granted after three successful slides. Not only has this been a fan favorite feature that people have wanted to see return, but I think a ton of people will put it on just for the fact that it makes the game flow better. It would be really cool for speedruns. Then there's Major Augment number 3, Blaze Phase. Crouching, then uncrouch to build a charge of energy that decimates undead and stuns heavier enemies. The longer the charge, the greater the damage and range. Impact will also produce an explosion as well, which was not seen in the original Blaze Phase. Despite the meme ability of this perk in Black Ops 4, I think it does have a place in the modern era, especially with the augment system as it's not a perk slot and can be a great side benefit to an already great perk like Stamina Up. Then there's minor augment number 1, firing on all cylinders. Just like the Gobblegum, you gain the ability to fire while sprinting. This was also seen in Cold War, but for some reason was a Speed Cola Crystal upgrade. Then there's Minor Augment number 2, Always Done Swiftly, which increases sprint speed by an additional 5%, and you swap weapons faster. This is ripped almost directly from Black Ops 3's Gobblegum with the same name. Then there's Minor Augment number 3, Temporal Recharge, with traps and fast travels recharging 15% faster. I think this augment would be very useful, especially when you pair it with Atomic Buildup, which grants you immunity to traps, and considering how fast you have to travel around the map anyways, I think having your fast travels recharge 15% quicker would be great for speedrunning. Stamina Up is all about speed, and I think most of these augments do that, with Blaze Phase being the odd one out, granting players a new ability if they want it. And I think that's what the augment system is all about, giving players all these different choices and options, which I think is really cool that they're doing that. Alright, that was the four main perks that we're all familiar with. Most of the augments that I picked for these perks have some pretty obvious options, and I'd say pretty much help the player in most easy to understand ways. Then there's the next four perks. Because they're more unique abilities, I thought giving them more unique augments made the most sense. So let's start out with Elemental Pop, with Major Augment number one being Secrets of the Ancients. By meleeing enemies, you now have a chance to produce powerful concussive blasts that change elements with each hit. This was directly inspired by the Elemental Thunderfist found all the way back in Origins, and I think it would be a really cool way to bring them back in the modern day. For Major Augment number two, we have Artifact Wand, which is ripped directly from Vanguard. Being hit in the back has a small chance for the player's field upgrade to go off without expending the charge. If you're using the new specialist ability, Dark Flare, an independent beam of energy is fired around the player. Then there's Major Augment number 3, a shocking revelation. Reloading produces an electrical aura that damages and stuns undead. The greater the reload, the more damage done and enemies stunned. This is ripped directly from Cold War's perk upgrade for Elemental Pop, and honestly on Twitter, I thought it was really funny because most people suggested this should go on Speed Cola. But if you ask me, at this point I think it fits on Elemental Pop, and I couldn't think of what else to give it, so let's just throw it in here, it's an extra perk, why not? And then there's the Minor Augments, with Minor Augment number 1 being Catfight, with Elemental Damage being increased if you damage an enemy weak to that alternate ammo type. This comes from both Cold War and Black Ops 4, where if you hit an enemy with an Elemental Damage weakness, you deal more damage. For example, on Firebase Z, Manglers are weak to Napalm Burst, and Abominations being weak to Brain Rot. Then there's Minor Augment number 2, Change Choose. By dropping below 25 health, your alternate ammo type is changed. When changed, it'll receive a temporary damage and activation boost. And then there's Minor Augment number 3, Catalyst Catastrophe. Defeating an enemy with the alternate ammo type that they are weak to will cause them to explode and instantly kill any enemies around them. 
This comes directly from the Catalyst in Black Ops 4, where if you shoot them with an alternate arrow type that they are weak to, they will explode and kill any undead around them. This is a really cool ability, and I'm surprised it hasn't come back since Black Ops 4. And I think the Augments are a great way to have this come back. Overall, Elemental Pop is all about changing dynamics and variation, and I feel like the Major and Minor Augments play into those two themes very well, with each of the Major Augments all playing into the randomization of the perk and giving you different outcomes based on what you choose, with Minor Augments reinforcing you to use alternate ammo types and how they affect different enemies on the map, giving you a ton of strategy with how you kill things. Alright, now let's move on to Deadshot Daiquiri. For Major Augment number 1, we have Diabolical Damage. With damage being increased if the same enemy is hit consecutively by 2% per hit, capping out at 20%. This ability is ripped straight from Cold War's Deadshot upgrade, and the name comes from its Vanguard equivalent. I would love to see this ability return, and adds a ton of damage to players fighting special and elite enemies. For Major Augment number 2, we have Mind Blown, with headshots periodically producing powerful explosions. This ability comes from Modern Warfare Zombies' third Aether Rift, and I would love to see it return as it was a really cool ability. And finally, for Major Augment number 3, you have Stone Cold Presence. Standing still for 2 seconds temporarily reduces enemy damage by 20%. I think this augment would be super useful, and especially in an era where we have so many fast and ranged abilities and enemies, I would like to see camping being promoted with at least one of these perks. Then for Minor Augment number 1, we have Optical Mirage. This grants the basic death perception ability, which allows you to see nearby enemies through walls. Then for Minor Augment number 2, we have Brittle Barrage, with penetration against enemy armor being increased by 10%. This is also ripped from Death Perception's Crystal Upgrade in Cold War, and also part of the Weapon Kit upgrades that were also used in the Weapon Kit system. And finally, there's Minor Augment number 3, Critical Informant, with damaging enemy weak points dealing an additional 5% damage. Now this ability is ripped all the way from Black Ops 4's Death Perception modifier, which increases damage when you hit enemy weak points. Deadshot Daiquiri is all about aim and precision, and I feel like each of these abilities, both major and minor, promote you standing still, taking your time, and hitting the right spot on the enemy to increase your damage. Alright, now let's move on to PhD Flopper. For the first major augment, we have Bomb Stopping Power, with explosives dealing 15% more damage, and you gain substantial explosive radius increase too. Enemies though are not stunned in this greater radius however. This comes from Infinite Warfare Zombies with the Bomb Stoppers perk. This perk in Infinite Warfare was extremely useful, and I think it has a great place being an augment. Then for Major Augment number 2, you have Scattermind Switcheroo. This makes all lethal equipment, including Tomahawks, produce 3 additional explosions upon activation. This damage instantly destroys undead armor if they are hit by any of the explosions. I felt this ability was extremely useful just for the coveted fact that it deals with enemy armor, often a very difficult problem to deal with in the higher rounds as armor has instant damage reduction and also protects most enemies from explosive damage. This would even the odds and make your explosive weapons much more useful if you're using lethal equipment alongside that. Then for Major Augment number 3, we have Trailblazing. Flopper explosions leave behind an area of effect in a small circle, and slider explosions produce a line of flames that damage undead. The first part gives PhD Flopper a much greater use with the damage over time effect, and the slider version of it, if you have that augment attached, gives it the ability to act like trailblazers for my W zombies, an extremely useful damage perk that could have a really good place in Black Ops 6. Each of these major augments is meant to help players with damage, which is something that is very difficult to come by in later rounds once you're at health cap, and I think all of these abilities help explosives, health equipment, and also just help your basic PhD abilities and give you more options with how you fight the undead. And that's the goal that I'm aiming for with PhD Flopper here. I think having all these options is a great way to spice a variety. Then there's Minor Augment number 1, with Bandolier Satchel. Craft an additional lethal equipment at the salvage table, and increase lethal equipment maximums by 1. This was an extremely useful ability that was offered by Mule Kick in Cold War, and I think putting it on PhD seems like a pretty good fit right now. Then there's Minor Augment number 2, Signature Slider. PhD Flopper's explosion will now activate upon sliding rather than flopping, while also increasing player distance while they slide. This was super useful in Cold War, and honestly, I think it should be the base effect, so having an augment for it makes sense. Then there's Minor Augment number 3, Flak Jacket. This grants you complete immunity to enemy explosions and disorientation effects. This does not negate enemy range attacks, however. This ability seems extremely useful, especially if enemies like the Panzer are going to be coming back, and who knows what other crazy undead we're going to see as we progress through the season. 
With PhD Flopper, I tried coming up with abilities that increase damage while also increasing your defense against other enemies, and also it was just kind of a jack of all trades perk with the augments that I've selected. You can craft additional lethal equipment, the lethal equipment is more useful, you have the ability to switch to slider, slider also has additional effects if you activate trailblazing, you have flak jacket which should help with future enemies whether they have explosive attacks or disorientation effects. I think PhD Flopper is great for all of these different ideas, kind of like Vulture's Aid in BO2. And finally, there's Melee Macchiato. As discussed earlier, we already talked about Major Augment 1, which is Vampirism, which grants you heal upon melee. So I decided to take the two abilities from the Crystal Axe and split those into the other two Major Augments. For Major Augment number 2, we have Armor Shedding. Defeating armored enemies with melee partially restores player armor. And Major Augment number 3, Nice Swing, grants players the ability to hit multiple enemies with their melee attack. I thought that each of these abilities was a good idea because in tandem, the Crystal Axe is one of the most powerful weapons we've ever received in Zombies, so I think taking all of its good abilities and splitting it between the three augments makes the most sense, while also not completely breaking the game. Then there's Minor Augment number 1, which we already talked about was Hidden Impact, with melee kills reloading a portion of your held weapon. Then there's Minor Augment number 2, Light as a Feather. Carrying a melee weapon, or no weapon at all, increases movement speed by 5%. I was trying to think what abilities could pair really well with other perks, and I think doing this with stamina up gives players more movement speed while also incentivizing you to use a melee weapon. Then there's minor augment number 3, Tactical Maneuvers. Meleeing while crouched or prone increases melee speed by 20%. This was inspired by the way melee works in World War II Zombies, where if you're at meleeing while standing up, your player gets stuck in a melee animation, but if you're crouching, the animation is much quicker and allows you to attack more enemies. I was thinking how this could be useful, and I thought it'd be really cool and incentivize players to actually use crouching in zombies because really it's not useful at all. And those were all the augments for Melee Macchiato. This was probably one of the easiest perks to come up with augments for because basically all the major augments are some of the overpowered abilities that we already had in Cold War, and divvying them up easily balanced the game. Then there's the minor augments, with minor augment 1 and 3 synergizing very well with the player's loadout by using melee weapon and Minor Augment number 2, synergizing very well with Stamina Up. Overall, I'm super excited for Melee Macchiato, and it seems to be a great way to promote players to use different setups like Slappy Taffy in Raven the Redwoods, while also not just giving players a Bowie knife like they did in Cold War, while also giving players a mid-game option to use Melee, which I think is really cool. And those were all my Augment perk suggestions for Black Ops 6 Zombies. I'm super excited for this game, and I cannot wait to see if any of these match up to what they're doing besides the ones that we already have confirmation for. But for those of you at home, thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions for Augments that you would like to see in the game, please put them down in the comment section below. I asked this on Twitter and got a ton of great responses from people that I thought were really cool and I would love to see in the game. So answer below, and I want to see what you guys have to say. And also, if you like this video, let me know. This is something different that I'm trying where I wrote kind of a note script, and this is me talking without a full script, and let me tell you, it made it much more difficult to actually read and record this, but it did make it quicker to write. So if you like the way that I'm talking like this, let me know. And also, if it sounds completely indistinguishable from how I normally talk in videos, that's fair too. So with that said, everyone, thank you all for watching. And remember, keep on slaying.